Hello Tarnished, welcome back to the channel. You're here with Ash, and today we're gonna be playing some Elden Ring. We're gonna be fighting Radon, let's heck and go! This is the episode, oh my god, am I so excited. I got up, it's morning here in Sweden, it's probably one of the coolest part of the summer day, and I'm ready to play some Elden Ring and see how we get along with this fight. We have not fought Radon before, but we are here on the footsteps of the arena, hopefully. I just need to see if I have the equipment that I desire to go into this so that I am like not really caught off guard if I need to switch things up a little bit. But I just finished watching Games Done Quick, the event just ended, and it ended off with two Elden Ring runs, Elden Ring All Remembrances and Elden Ring Any Percent Run. And while I couldn't watch like 80% of it, I had to go and cheer people on because two of the people that ran it, or well, at least one of them is from the Speed Souls uh, community, and the Speed Souls community is a Speed... Well, it's a Souls running community, including Elden Ring. One that I'm part of, a big part, actually. And I had to go cheer people on, so GDQ is always like one of my favorite times of the year. I will always be out there cheering people on. I got a host last time during AGDQ uh, 2022, and since they're offline now, I can't really be there in the same capacity, so it was just... it was nice. It was nice to just be in chat and oh my god the donation fundraising always makes me so emotional just seeing the crowd be so happy always makes me so emotional as well so it was just it was really nice to watch okay we're gonna try exalted fresh uh flesh if we need to because i've never actually given that a go and i don't know if there's any like other damage negation or anything else that we're gonna have to deal with but as well let's uh craft you fire pots. What are all the options? Sleep pot, freezing pot, holy water pot, oil pot. Oil pot would actually work really well in combination with the fire pot. Um, let me just make one of those. As long as we don't miss that toss, it will it will come and work out. Um, all right, where are we? Where are we? I hope you're all as excited as I am for this episode. I know it's gonna be a blast. What we could also do is the lantern off for now. I heard uh, or someone point out that as long as I hold down pad, it will go back to the wet, the first item in my toolbar um, if I really need it. So let me see. Hmm. Are they not too hand here? Maybe I just can't attack. Okay. So let's say if I scroll to blood grease. Holding it will actually take me back to flask. Easy. Very nice. I'm very used to cycling through things. Okay. Um, what else? Well, we could not actually upgrade our weapon last time because we didn't have a somber smithing stone six. So that's a little unfortunate for us, but we will make sure to at least use the runes so that we can level up because we're definitely going to need that. Coming up. Okay. We finally got our 30 vigor. Really good to hear. I think there's only like one other thing that I'm missing right now and I can't really recall what it is. It feels like I'm missing something crucial. Maybe the only thing that I feel like I'm missing is playing around with Arts of War. Um, or Ashes of War. And maybe, just maybe, I want to do stop by the round table hold really quickly to see if there are any other options that we like. Though I do like the preset one on the um, the greatsword because it actually does buff us up a little bit. So I wouldn't be opposed to fighting with it, but it would be kind of cool to explore Ashes of War a little bit, especially as we come up on a rather big fight, I would well. say. I took you for All right, your arms. what do you have for us? Ashes of War. Can you actually not set one? Hmm, interesting. So I don't think you can actually set one on the greatsword. All right. But we can set one on the battle axe. Um, hmm. Is there at least a description? Okay. How do I... Okay, there we go. Um... That's Wild Strikes, Ground Slam, Barbaric Roar, Storm Stomp, and Kick Up a Momentary Storm. That could be actually kind of useful. 
When skills that channels a Tempest of Storm Veil, spin armament around to create storm winds. Repeated inputs for a lot for two follow up attacks. Actually, that's kind of nice. Storm collar could be fun. Um, hmm. And this is for successive attacks, which could work with talismans that deal with better damage from successive attacks. Uh, flaming strike. If they're if Radana is weak to fire, that would be really handy, actually. This is holy essence, sacred blade, poison mist, chilling mist. This actually could be nice. The stomp. It would give us. The status of cold. We can give it a try. I've uh, never actually gotten a chance to use this determination. Or, well, Ashes of War, not determination. But the only other thing that I can think of is talismans. Making sure we have talismans. Jump attacks, I like that. I like the slowly re restoring HP. Um, we don't exactly know what Radon does. So I'm not too sure what we can replace the cat one with, but guard counters, charge attacks. Charge attacks could be nice as well. With successive attacks, see the wind sword insignia would work really well, I guess, with some of those ashes of war. All right. Okay. We're ready. These you'll sink him here. I thought it was a chamber outside the pizza, and I was like, pizza? I am okay with pizza as a reward for whatever it is I'm about to do. <laughs> Let's see how... That's pretty cool. <laughs> I was like, let's let us let us see. Let's see how that looks. That is uh, pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Yeah, Oath of Vengeance is locked to the sword. Oh, wait. Who's here? Wait. Who? Who are you? Polite bow? Bow? Wait. Excuse me. I have no idea who she is, and she doesn't seem to want to talk. Um, does Blythe have any more to say? Alright, let's hope we actually fight together. Everyone is here. I'm proceeding. I don't even care about the speech. Fight, 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 fight. So who is this fella? Can we actually ta target them? They sort of have like a jester outfit on. I like that I'm like looking for loot even though I'm like so jazzed for fights. Oh, that's really cool. So many star caller notes here. Somber smithing stone five. For real though? For real? Just give me six already, okay? Game, I see what you're doing. You're delaying the inevitable, but I will have six. I will have it. Uh, okay, there's a door here, but there's also a door to the right. Um, with doors I can't actually access. Okay. Ah, <sighs> the moment of truth. Thanks, Jer. Wait, no? Huh? How? But, excuse me. How do I enter the Colosseum? Oh, there we go. Good and prepared young chum. I just had to wait the for his speech. Begins. Yes. Ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so jazzed Before today. We begin, it's definitely GDQ energy carrying me to over. Paint you the full picture. Yes, Laura, give it to me. Just dragon suits of armor. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Oh, that's so cool. That says a lot about their fight in the cutscene. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them. Like a dog. His face is so deceiving. It looked like it was actually a beast, but now there's actually a person beneath us. Howling that's... at the sky. But now. We must make merry. 
Oh, gathering of champions, the revels begin. The celebration of war. The Radan Festival. <laughs> The heartening cry. Okay. You will find the field of battle past the church ahead, upon the shore under the fort. General Radan is there, even now. I wonder if it's the red boots, beach we saw. Devouring corpses and howling at the sky. Okay. We're doing it. We're running up the hill. Let's go. Okay, wait, why can't I run? All right, because I'm pressing the wrong button. Thank you, Monster Hunter, for ruining my senses of how to play the game. <laughs> Here's the church. Here's the item within. A smithing stone six. Stop taunting me, game. Stop it. I do not appreciate it. Maybe we can open this door from inside. Ah, uh, there's no really need. I mean, like, if you can enter, why would you need to open a secondary door? Ah, uh, okay. The banners for the festival. It almost doesn't even seem like a festival of war anymore. It almost seems like, yay, Radan's hungry. Radan need eat, you know? You can go be food. And there's just the pretense that you could possibly win, but probably not. Probably not. You're likely to just become chum like the rest of everyone else. So, stick of America. Uh, and... We're gonna probably teleport over. I like how it's like sectioned off from everywhere else. Like this is like the backside of Kaelid. Probably because they're like, yeah, we don't want this fight to be anywhere near us. And I go do it over there. But that's scary. Okay, friends. Come on, I thought I had that roll timing. Maybe a bit of panic rolling is a good idea. Survived with nothing but a fraction of HP. Makes you wonder what these things are. Oh, you can summon. Hmm, not actually interested in summoning. More of Radon Spears. Here he comes. <laughs> I wonder if. Look how small. Oh, that's so sad. Look how small the horse is that he's riding on. It's so small. I absolutely uh, expect it to be demolished there. But I wonder if I can actually ride Torn in the battle. That would be. Helpful to know, and goodbye 5,000 runes. Hopefully we can get you again. But look how tiny the poor horse is. This is like Zod. Like, trying to ride a sheep. Yeah, or like a ram. It's it's cruel. Oh, well. That changes things up. Oof. Kind of. Oof, kind of. As long as we don't get hit, right? Now we'll ride into battle. ultimate battle okay wow we're dealing a decent amount of damage I almost feel bad for this horse okay nice like five six attack succession that's not good that's not good at all That 
that's the star scourge in him. Woo! Uh, totally deserve that. The fact that I'm surviving, though. Okay, that's the magical negation that we might need. Whoa, the gravity pull. Beautiful. There goes all of our crimson flasks. Can we still do it? Admittedly, I'm not the best at this kind of combat. On horse, so... I only wonder if we can. This is so comical. Like, why even use a horse? Yeah, we're a goner. Yep. All right. <laughs> we're actually a goner. Like, why? Why even use a horse? And so you have to actually use your two legs. That's so sad. <laughs> okay. Well, if I wasn't actually guzzling like every single flask I needed to right there, I, I probably could have stood a chance. But there's a lot I didn't really understand about how to get around. So that's completely fine. All right, let's do that again. Maybe we could at least use Wondrous Physic now that we're in. We just need to dodge a few arrows, it's okay. There we go. Ha ha! Where are my runes? All right, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, nice. Actually hit the ground. This might hit us, though. I have no idea where my runes are. They seem to be in that direction. But should I really be caring about my runes right now? I should be caring about winning. Let's be real. He's gonna cut on the other side of him. Wow, the fact that I hit Torrents and not me. My poor Torrents. My poor torrents. Okay, that's okay. I didn't need those runes anyways. It almost looks like the horse is attached to him, not the other way around. <laughs> it's like, it's just kind of there for the ride. It doesn't really, can't really do anything. It's like, I'm just stuck here. Please get Radon off me. Please help. All right, I was too focused on things I shouldn't have there. All right, buddy. There, spell Drake Talisman. Try and hit me with your gravity now. And your stars. Just try. I dare you. <laughs> Admittedly, not the best idea to jump. I like the walking part and dodging the great arrows. Now we can. Now we can use torrents. Never mind. Switched attacks like the last second.
Alright. Time for deep focus. Time to get my poor horse killed. Time to die myself. Jeez, what am I doing? I don't know if I actually want to be locked on to Star Scourge or Dawn, but it, it might actually be a good idea. I can't believe I went into this feeling so much more confident than I am now, but mm, we're going to go get him. He's just a, a tad annoying. I can imagine coming across him much earlier on and just sort of suffering because he moves around a lot. He moves around a lot, and I can imagine not dealing that much damage to him. All right. Face into battle. Shy from nothing. You don't scare me, Radon. Not even with your warning shots. Well, unless I miss them. Walk straight into them like I did twice. My god, what's wrong with my timing? I can just strafe that one. Gotta be careful. Got oh, God. Why? Why do I feel so slow? I don't know if I'm like accidentally like running out of stamina, so I, I need to pay attention more to the stamina bar because it feels like all of a sudden I like lost all momentum and I'm just I'm in his circle and he's just gonna get me. But that was a really bad attempt anyways. So, like the number of times we got hit by that arrow was a, a little disappointing actually. <sighs> Sometimes you're gonna have some really terrible attempts to be like, what that what what am I even doing right now? What am I like, wake up. Wake up. You're fighting for your life here. You're fighting for your life. I think I misread one of those moves. There, there's Blythe. Thinking that maybe. Maybe it was just a rain of arrows. There we go. That's an opening. <laughs> this is so comical. Yeah, I'm dead. It's so comical watching him run after me. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Alright, we do have a strat though. I, I wonder if there's anything here that could sort of help us. Um, I mean, we're not having enough time to get hits in, so... Using something like Exalted Flesh doesn't seem wise. I don't know if Fire Pots would work. Oh, nice. Nice drinking a flask before it even begins. Very good job. awareness of this fight that's so silly these attempts are getting worse and worse Ugh. okay like I'm just walking straight like he just drops his swords to, like one side of his body trying to go for a sweep and I walk straight into them 
hopefully this wondrous physic lasts the teleportation as well. And that's, uh, that's really silly on me. But it doesn't seem like steering on horseback is the easiest to try and, like, not only just avoid his damage, but then steering back around to find an opportunity. Wow, he actually does get off his horse there. What? Do you see that? I don't know if that's actually intentional. Lucky I didn't die there. Very lucky. Like, even coming straight at him in battle. I don't even know if that's wise, but there does seem to be some dead spots in between it. Maybe not when he's doing that attack, though. So long as he isn't, like, kind of crossing. Wow, he's riding his horse backwards now. That's so weird. The, the horse movement is so bizarre. So long as he's in crossing his hands, he's attacking, I can probably run between his legs. As long as his hands are sort of like outwards, um, I can actually find a really good opportunity to run in there. And I don't even think that f maybe fighting this on leg would actually be easier. I'll have to see, I'll have to measure that because if I go on foot, once I'm uh, close to him, I might be able to like free cam a little easier and make sure that I uh, don't get caught off guard by the attacks and the sweeps and I'm like always within his sphere of influence. Okay. We're within range. going in. Oh, we can head dunk. Good to know. Good to know. Couldn't even lay one hit on him. That was a bit scary. I was like, okay, well, he kind of uh, ruined... He ruined my opportunity to get back on my steed without me having to use a Crimson Flask. I was like, okay, let's just try it. Let's see what it's like to actually just fight him on the ground. And I uh, did not expect that head dunk at all. Like, I think one of the huge advantages that this fight has for it is the fact that Radon is so massive in size that it's easy to kind of get caught in his influence. I felt like I experienced the same thing when I fought against um, Medir in Dark Souls 3. Just really big hitbox, really big enemy. It feels like half the time you're having to like see visual cues of what the enemy is doing from like other parts of their body rather than getting like a whole view of them. Like, see here, we have Radon in full view. Okay. I think patience is the key. We know what he's capable of. So it's my job. There is some pull effect of his daggers. I don't know whether I got swept away there or he actually was using some pull effects.
All right. I know what he's capable of. You don't intimidate me, we're done. You don't intimidate me. That though is a bit scary. Because he could potentially really hurt Torrent there. Okay, that one is definitely one to respect. Since he can actually put glintstone sorceries on his blades and then that sweep then becomes an AoE wave attack, then that's something I need to respect. Um, probably not capitalize on as I was doing earlier. But overall a little bit better strategy wise. I think, uh, I think we'll get the hang of this rather quickly. I hope. Like that first attempt, my god, why why am I like this? Why am I like this? Like first attempt, I'm like, yeah, I'm not scared of you, we're done. I don't care what you can do. Throw whatever it is you like at me. We know what he's gonna do. We're going in before he can do something about it. Or, you know, die in the Grave of Arrows, because somehow this time I actually caught, got caught off guard. What are you even firing at here? <laughs> what was there to even fire at? <laughs> oh my god. I will say this. Running up to him, not fun. Not exactly uh, the highlight of this fight. This whole like stretch that you gotta do. The mile. The wailing dunes. Run! Run, Torrents. Yep, there is an instance where he actually gets off his horse. But this isn't just a fluke. I can see why this arena is so big now. And it makes sense. Hot dang. Hot dang. I think uh, I think I know what it is right now. I think he's using gravity to pull his horse back to him. <laughs> he's like, get back down there. I'm riding you. I'm not done with you. I know I'm the one that dismounted you, but get back down there. <sighs> Poor little horsey. I feel for you. I too am being bullied. And here I thought we could actually use things like battle axe and and ashes of war. But nah. All right, chase us. Chase us, Radon. Make your move. And I will act. And I will make mine. Okay. He didn't have that huge follow-up this time. Which is good for me. 
That, not so much. Okay, that feels a little bit early. Okay, we're gonna get away from this. Is there getting away from it? Oh, I'm out of Roa Raisins. My poor torrents. I am so sorry. I will craft some for you next time. Alright, there's no grabbing me. I think we had to go in. I had to commit to something. I'm scared of what he's trying to do. Goodbye, Torrance. The fact that I survived that's amazing. That actually might have been beneficial for me to be pulled in. See, Torrent is uh, facing the most of this. So, I'm now thinking that when he does that sweep of magic, I kind of want to be near it. I don't want to be far away. Dang. Because I, unless I can double jump it, which I'm not too sure if I can do, makes me wonder, what is it that I can do to just not, not even have to deal with that? I'm gonna try circling him, but first, Roa Raisins. How many can I craft? Yeah, Torrent needs it. Torrent is doing so much work in this fight. But being on horseback really does also deplete so much stamina. Which I also imagine Rodan's just even gonna get meaner. Yeah, I was getting off horseback because I realized I made a mistake there by going on horseback to begin with. So it seems like he does three, regardless of my distance. doing something wrong. I can't tell what it is just yet. I mean, it's also kicking my butt, but... I'm just like sitting here and thinking, it's like, what can, I, what can I do better? Like, even when I like try to get some of those R2s off, so I can do some damage while mounted, like they didn't go off. I, so I either had like no stamina or for some reason the prompt didn't go in. But ugh, it's such a shame. Such a shame. Okay. That's a moment you don't want to be around him.
145. It's alright, damage. It's not the greatest, it's alright. For a firebomb. Alright. Now we be careful. Okay, so I can actually dash them last second rather than having to run very early on. Because that actually might be a bad idea. Yep. Staying close to him is best. Okay. That was scary. I actually was like underneath him for so long. Last second dash. There we go. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, really? Okay. Probably on the wrong side of that, because he was like sweeping this way and I went straight into a line of fire. So if I was on the other side of it, I probably would have better. I should have rounded right rather than just go dead center at him. No, not the better fight. Okay. All right. I feel like I do have a little bit better grasp of what I'm doing right now. That feels good. I needed that fight. I needed that fight to make sure that like, I'm not just completely... <sighs> Flubbing this up, I do have some potential. I do have some tricks. I do have some strats. And that's good because like the minute that you start to feel like this boss is like steamrolling you and there's nothing you can do about it is the moment that you lose confidence in yourself and this fight becomes infinitely harder. So these last second dash bursts right here, that helps. Like, don't use circle to dash with torrents until only until you know that you have to get out of a situation immediately. So you can run which way he's gonna do that last one. I thought I had it. I thought I was just under it, but I wasn't. I had to be quicker. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely a challenge. A challenge is to make sure that you're exactly where you want to be when you need to be. Otherwise, you will absolutely get decimated by like the risk that you're taking. I don't like. I don't know. Some people probably might be running further away from Radon, but it feels like Radon is definitely one of those bosses that he wants to chase you and he wants you running because he will, he will cut you down with those sweeps. Um, of course, he has some like, countermeasures to you being up close, as well, as oh, all bosses do. Me not paying attention. But he likes the chase. He likes the hunt. I think he comes more alive when he's chasing you.
I'm not replenishing stamina as fast as I would like to be. That's early. It bought me... It bought me some time, though. That, though, that was dumb. Okay, jumping does work. Oh my god, that was, uh... Unexpected. I didn't expect both things to come at me at once. So many openings. So many missed openings. is nice and healthy. Alright. Nice. We can't actually jump over them. That is really good to know. right into him. I was right along the beach as well. Oh, so cornered. Okay, we learned really important things. Okay, that's fantastic. I'm glad that we're like actually making some progress in this fight. Now with like every every death that we have, we learn something more and we can start piecing the puzzle together. Because that's all it is. Like there's a lot of people that have this belief that like if you're good at Souls games, and you can be good at Souls games and from software games that you have to like first try slash like beat them like instantly. But I think that belief is not something I agree with, mainly because the whole joy of these games is to actually get demolished for me. Get demolished, pick up, learn, be better. Oops, did not know that he was doing that. That was, uh, that was a mistake on my part. So get better. And that makes this combat so much more rewarding. So when you finally get that win, you know. You know that you have literally put and assimilated everything that you can to be good. And that victory, that one's yours. And no one can take that away from you. I actually hit Torrent there rather than me. Let's put some distance to Riku. He gets so far as well, so sometimes even like the follow up. It's too hard to do. Because he's just so far off. That might have been risky. I might have risked it. Yes, I risked it all. Also, 
Nah, I still have row raisins. I thought I ran out. I was like, did I use all my row raisins already? <sighs> I know that this will be in the past for me, but I can use your luck if you're watching right now. I'm sure it will help. Like something, something about time travel and going back to the past or watching from the future to give me energy. <laughs> I can use it right about now. Okay, I will just cheer for myself for now. I can do it. I can do it. Let's hope. Yeah, not doing it. Good, good, good. Use dashes sparingly. There we go. That's a moment of dash. That one is too. I don't even need to run that fast. Let's try something. I don't know if that went on him. It did. But I guess the oil pot only works for the first hits. It's actually not that bad to find them ranged. I see. Well, I'm definitely gonna make quite a few fire pots if we don't succeed this time around. Some of the recovery times are just way too tough after getting, like, especially, and this is why mounted combat is so bad at times. When you get dismounted in that instance, like, the recovery is way too long. Like, you're pretty much a goner unless the enemy just doesn't follow through. Okay. I, mean, I think I'm also out of wildflower flowers or butterflies. Yes, I am. Ah, that's unfortunate. Well, I do know where I can go and farm quite a few, but I think the fire bombs might be like last resort kind of thing where it's like, hey, Radon's about to die. I need to just land a few fire bombs, get a flash kill. Nice flashy kill. Gotta take uh, care of Torrent a little bit here. Can't have Torrent be in bad shape before we even begin. Oh, that miss. That was uh, a little bit unfortunate. All things considering. I went in and came out with nothing. 
You can do a bit of that star uh, scourge magic. Even before he brings them upon his blades. That's kind of cool. I'm dead. I don't know why I stayed in range of that. We could try new strats. Um, but I don't think it's I don't think it's the strats now that it's not the damage. It's not like the ability. Like a lot of people will sometimes also tell you like, oh well, you should have used resin in that fight, that, and then it would have ended it so much quicker for you. But it's like, all right. But I'm not even able to get near the boss. My problem is dying. And if I, I mean, what, ma what does resin or anything like that matter if I can't even touch the boss? So right now, my biggest issue is survival. That is my uh, top concern. I thought I dashed. Alright, here we go. I'm hopefully gonna play this to the best of my ability. At least I hope so. I mean, aside from Torn getting hit there, that went all right. Ooh, Torn almost died had I not healed there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I feel bad that Torn had to go down, but we did our best. Okay. There is some part of the strat that's working. Except when he takes my mount down. Which is like, uh oh, you know? I'm not gonna risk it. Too far. Eat torrents. Eat some more, you're gonna need a friend. Gotcha. Yes, let's go. We actually have a plan. I just need to make sure that I don't get torrent to be completely decimated every single time. We actually have a plan. Look at it come together. Beautiful. Alright. Here we go. Here comes the combo. The one we like to see. 
the one that I totally missed. Just as much as I need heals, Torrent does too. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dodge. All right, here we go. Here we go. That does not seem comforting. Where the heck did you go? Oh, no. I feel like he's gonna summon meteors at us. Yep. Here they come. Here they come. Eat well, Torrent, you need it. for comforts. Ah! That wondrous physics there saved me. I swear. He's flying. He's levitating. Yeah, scary. <laughs> okay, that meteor came down. I was like, uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> He's living up to his name. I just wasn't sure what his surrounding meteors were gonna do. I felt like they were homing Solaro, so I was like, eh, they're probably gonna come at me. I just didn't know when. <laughs> I didn't want to take the risk. This phase looks uh, trivial now compared to what's next. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Get a whole bunch of healing for Torrents. Sometimes his behavior is not what I expect. Sometimes I misread Radon. Like there. It's like three potions and the fight hasn't even begun. So many openings, I gotta go for them. Oh, he could have actually missed. Had there been a few more seconds there, or like a little, he, he was a little further than me, I could have actually survived that, but it's okay. I didn't, enough, I didn't really get off at a great start. We were not feeling it. Already like up on an hour of this episode and Redon. I would hate to say that what if Redon doesn't go down today? I mean, I'm not that surprised. I didn't think that every boss I would come across would be like done under an hour or something like that. Yeah, I'm not good at dodging this from this far on horseback. I kind of want to reset. 
number of mistakes I've made so far. But yeah, I did anticipate that everything was going to be done in an hour. So it'd be like foolish to think that. I could do this in one episode. Really? Really? I couldn't have just, you know, went right over my head. Well, it's okay. I forgot to craft raisins anyway, so let's do that. Let's craft some raisins. Torrent needs all the food it can get. Eat well, my friends. Eat well. You can have all the raisins you want. For sticking with me in this battle. For not abandoning me in my time of need, except when I kill you. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just my my bad. My bad. Okay. He's given us the RNG that we want. Alright, we're done. gone in there. There's so many instances that sometimes I'm just like, dang. I could have gone in like there. And then when I do make the choice to go in, I'm generally in a bad place like there. for me. Alright, this is the phase I know. How did I get caught by that? The fact that I did. Oh! Like, I'm not too sure. I thought I was fine. I thought I was in the clear. I can't tell if I was, uh, I think maybe a little bit too close or maybe just like as I was landing, maybe I jumped a little bit too early. So I caught a bit of that wave. That really threw me off my game. <sighs> I have no words. I went from excited to just all right, all right. Mustering all the strength, all the knowledge, all the skill we can for this moment. This moment right here. We ride into battle.
I tried to do the same thing that he did and we both missed. That did not go well for Torrance. Alright, Torrance. I believe in you. I believe in you, friends. It's just you and me. It's just you and me, friends. We can do this. Here it comes with our favorite attack. He's almost at that halfway point. Alright, here it comes. He's way too qu quick with a recovery on that one. No! I agreed it so hard there. And it was fine. Like, look at him. He's taken off. <laughs> it was fine. We were at the halfway point. I didn't have to go for that. I was just like, yeah, okay, we jumped it. All the skill and everything we needed for that moment, but not... <sighs> I didn't put away Risk Taker Ash. The greed. Ah. Okay. I'm I'm locking her away. I'm locking her away. I'll only pull her out pull her out in like desperate measures. Last second instances where I need her confidence. She's uh being locked away right now. I threw away the key. Here we go. He torrents. He torrents some more. All right, give me your best shots. on no risk taking risk taker ash is not here right now she's not here she's left the building risk take but I did not dodge I was like yeah I'm just gonna dash when it gets here and then I missed and then I missed <sighs> deep size 
deep sighs. I like the before and after Ash. Coming in. Before we're done. After we're done. I don't even want to know what exactly it is that they nerfed. You can tell me after I beat this fight. If I do beat it this episode or next episode. What is it that they nerfed in the first patch? What exactly about him was much scarier? I actually landed the first hit this time. Our favorite face. Okay, we dodged it. He does give us some easy attacks from phase one as well. I never know what that's supposed to be about. Now I know. There's a dodge, here it comes. Oh my god, my R2 did not come off! I hate it that like I'm there and I haven't even queued up my swing and it's like it's like what did I do what did I do what did I press wrong and it's like it, it bought <sighs> my hands are starting to get tired that's probably it oh it's just like input delay in my brain like why brain why didn't you press the button what <laughs> it was right there all you had to do was press it and we were doing fine <sighs> Okay, 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 okay. I liked it when, <laughs> again, just going into battle. It kind of reminds me of like a non-experienced combatant in a Coliseum or an arena, like never been in there before and just is running in yelling like, ah, and like has no idea what they're doing. And somehow they win because it's exactly that. They have no idea what they're doing. And it's hilarious. I think, uh, there's magic in that. Okay, let's send it over this hill. Really? Like, to lose three flasks to this early stage? Unacceptable. That's a uh, risk taker Ash. She seems to be back in the picture. I'm a little scared that she's here. I'd prefer if I was not at the edge of this beach, to be honest. Yeah, it makes it makes me feel scared that I'm gonna like run to the edge and just be trapped like back to the wall and I have nowhere to go. Kind of what happened here. All right, I think I think we'll do one more solid attempt because even if I could just sit here 
and fight Rodan as much as I want. And I do want to do that. Sometimes a break. Maybe I know. Maybe I can actually just step up a little bit as well. A break. Let me see how I feel after this. It's just good for your brain, because you can get locked into making the same mistakes over and over again, or just like not be in the right headspace for it. So, but I do. I do know that some people probably want to see me suffer a little bit, just because they suffered as well. I hope you're not in one of those camp people. Like, I appreciate us having commonalities. If you suffered, I will suffer too. But please don't take joy on my suffering. That was not worth it. In any shape, way, or form. Can confirm. Source experience. just in case. If you're in a sphere of influence that's bound to kill you. Oh, let's open a window. Okay. Okay. Like, even if I was to switch weapons now, it's not exactly gonna be any better because there's only such a small window that we can actually get damage off. So, we need to make it count when it does. And with that, I will take my last attempt of the day. Here we go. To all the people that have been watching my Elden Ring playthroughs so far. I appreciate all of you. This one is for you. Well. I kind of unto-handed my weapon. By the way. Just saying. So, uh, I might have already failed you. No, we're okay. We're okay. Now we're running away. That was dumb being so close to the AoE of his strike. Like, the worst thing that could possibly be ha happen to me in this fight is that I get dismounted. And I have no more row raisins, so. I'm sorry if I failed all of you. If I get torn killed now, 
This is kind of it. So the R1s overall deal more damage. I wonder if I can item craft in battle. He's coming over the hill! I cannot. I cannot craft in battle. Not No distance will allow me to do so. So, protect torrents. With everything I've got. I forgot that he uh, empowered his weapons. So I was actually going to die there. Alright, Torrent actually took a hit for me. Oh, poor Torrent. I don't deserve you. I don't deserve you. Torrent is suffering a beating. I refuse to do this without torrents. Just like that, fixed. All fixed up, buddy. Never mind. Never mind. I failed torrents. No. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, to be expected, honestly. Like, when you say final attempt and then you go in, you're like, uh oh. There's uh, so many things that are gonna go wrong. Because I did not have foresight. It's all hindsight, baby. <laughs> Alright. We're ready for next time. I mean, I could craft as much as I want. I mean, like, what else am I gonna really use these raw races for in the meanwhile? <sighs> I thought it was going to be a good Friday. I thought it was going to be a Friday of victory. One of celebration. But instead, maybe we are defeated. <sighs> we take a moment. A meditation. Maybe if I feel it afterwards. We'll do one last attempt. <laughs> this is gonna be like, honestly, meditation track with like the sounds of the waves crashing on the beach. You like close your eyes and be like, in a different universe, the atmosphere, calm. Okay, I found some inner peace for one last attempt. <laughs> it's gonna be garbage, but so worth it. So worth it to say one last attempt, but then add slap one more on top of it. Just cause you can. It's my life. It's my birthday, I'll cry if I want to. Kudos to everyone that made it this far in the video so far. Big shout out to all of you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with me week after week. Hanging out with me. The comments. The things that make me laugh. I appreciate the heck out of you. You're all great. I hope you're having a lovely day. And we'll have a lovely weekend.
Okay, I think I caught most of that. That's okay. Yep. And then I failed. It's a good thing he was so far away. But we're running away now. It was just my bad for trying to heal at such a bad time. Okay, he's gonna do the big one. I hate that I can't see the H bar of Torrent there. Like, when I need to see it the most, I cannot. My talisman at work here, healing me up. Shout out to my talisman. Okay. Really, though? The fact that I survived, though. Oh my god. Here we go. Nope, not taking that risk. It didn't feel like the moment. This feels like a moment though. Nope, I lied. I lied! <laughs> it's an okay fight though. For our real last attempt. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's wrap this up for the day. As much as I would like to sit here for another five hours and play, and die, and game, and suffer, the true meaning of gaming, anyways. Or not really. I mean, you can play whatever games you like and appreciate them however you want. You don't have to suffer to play games. <laughs> but oh, I leave footsteps on the sand, don't I? Ah, that's actually really nice. Small touch, but I appreciate it. That's very calming. That's really calming, just leaving footsteps on the sand. I like to do this in real life as well. Very nice touch. Thank you, Miyazaki. And with that, we call this episode to an end. Thank you for joining me, Tarnished, and taking part in a little bit of my suffering. I'll see you in the next one.